How's it going? So this week has been okay, I guess. So been going out a bit more this week for walks and I actually went a bit further as well this time. So I rode my scooter to still a local park, but it's a park that I've never been to. And I went there with my mum and some cousins as well. And overall, it was quite a nice day out. Like, it's quite a quiet area and has some quite nice views as well. So it was very nice seeing that place for the first time. And yeah, overall, it was just a quite nice environment to be in after being stuck at home for so long. So yeah, overall, I quite enjoyed that day out. And I think a highlight in entertainment this week is that I played for a game called Geronimo Stilton for the Sony PSP. And it's one of those games that I've, I've always been aware of, but I've just never gotten around to play it. But um, yeah, now that I've finally played through it, it's, it's very charming, it has very colourful characters and very abstract and creative worlds and... Overall, it was just a very fun time going through it. Like, I, for the majority of the game, I mainly just had a smile all the way through. And the basics of the game is that it's a puzzle game and, and also a visual novel at the same time. And a lot of the puzzles were fun and intriguing, but there were some of them that felt a bit unpolished and a bit flawed in a way, so... But overall, I still really enjoyed the game, and after looking into it, I found out that Geronimo Stilton is actually a massive franchise in Italy, and is becoming even more well-known throughout the world. Like, it started off with books, and then it went into other media, like video games and TV series, and he's even getting a live-action movie. So I've never actually been aware of the franchise until I played the game, but I just never realised that it was such a big series overall. So I probably will look into more of it and probably watch through the TV series and maybe even read the books. So who knows, just have to see how it goes from here. But for the most part, just being still continuing with my book for this week really and just going through the chapters adding in a whole lot of parts and at the moment just trying to focus more on the interaction between the characters to add a bit more emotion and story and development basically and I'm also getting more ideas on adding whole new plots and stuff to the story so overall it's going very slow but at the same time I think it's going quite smoothly so the progress on the book is going okay. I'll probably say it's a little bit lighter than last week just because of I guess just because I was able to go out a bit more this week and going to a new place to take into the environment and I guess overall it was just a nice change of scenery after being locked in the house for so long. So I think that plus with playing through the Geronimo Stilton game has lifted my mood up a bit. So overall I guess I could say it's a bit lighter than last week. But I wouldn't say it's exactly really high or I'm just really happy or anything. It's just... My mood is just slightly a bit lighter and I guess it's just something that a lot of people kind of need at this difficult time really. Like I know there's a lot of deaths and stuff that are still happening and it's just still very sad to hear it all and see it all in the news. But I think at the moment people just desperately need some joy in their lives as well at this difficult time so... Whatever just makes you a little bit happier each day is, I guess it's overall just worth it really. But with all the intrusive thoughts that keeps happening in my head, definitely does bring my mood down quite a bit. I realise I haven't really talked much about the thoughts inside my head that much on this channel, but 
basically I've had these intrusive thoughts for a very very long time now and they always constantly tell me negative things things like just harm myself or harm others around me become someone else commit suicide just all sorts of negative things really and they always constantly happen in my head and that always plays a big part in my mood as well so it just becomes very tiring and exhausting having to deal with these thoughts pretty much every day and all the time really so it, it definitely drains my energy a lot and makes it really hard to be motivated to do anything basically but I still try my best to try and do the things I like even though I'm not able to focus or do the things I can to the best ability I still try to be a bit more easy on myself and not like look down on myself too much like if I'm not able to accomplish a task that well I tend to try not to beat myself over it too much because that can just basically bring my mood lower and make me feel not that great in myself so I, st I try to look at the positives and try to just focus on the things that I have achieved and yeah overall it's just very mentally draining but at the same time it's something that I just have to constantly live with at the moment and I think the medicine I'm taking does help it in a way but it's still mostly up to me on how I deal with it and how I struggle through it for the most part really but um yeah I just it's it's something that I don't haven't mentioned much on this channel but yeah I do have to deal with these negative thoughts constantly really and it does play a huge part in my mood and my motivation not a whole lot really mainly just I'd imagine mainly just going to be stuck at home for most of the week and just see how the weather is and if the weather is nice and warm then probably go out for more walks and yeah just have to see how it comes and goes by really but overall nothing overly substantial planned ahead just see how it goes from here for the most part so i guess that's pretty much it for this week so hopefully i'll see you next saturday that's it for this video my name is hoyman and please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it and remember, always look forward, keep hope alive, and remember, you're somebody.